Oh man, it's just so many messages. I mean, I'm gonna get. I think I'm gonna get messages because it's. I guess you know when you start spiritually seeing things so much and not help and and seeing what people are not trying to see. Um. Uh. You have to let you have to let people know. You know because look, I care about your. Life. I care about you giving your life to Jesus Christ because Christ want to give you life, life more abundantly. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not doing this just to try to be famous. I mean, I don't. I'm. I mean, I don't want to. First of all, I want to be pleased in the eyes of men. I don't really care less whoever in the flesh think about me, like me or hate me. I really don't care about what people think about me. But I'm about a person that's number one, period, trying to get you in a relationship with Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life that will give you life and life more abundantly. And you will go to heaven and, you know, meet your creator face to face. That's what I'm all about doing. I hope you understand concerning all these videos and all my posts on Facebook and stuff like that. I hope you understand that. But the topic of the message. Now, I'm going to uh, talk about I did not finish because a lot of skirmish things was happening yesterday. I didn't really uh, finish my message, but uh, concerning the uh, electron of the atom. Now, this is going to be the topic of the message, the reality, the idea of the electron of the atom too. Now, this is going to this is going to be quite interesting right here, guys. Quite interesting. It got revealed a lot of information about the. Even the word electron, but elect is interesting. Now, um, I was talking about the electron that, you know, that uh, when you break atoms. Now, as you know, if those that don't know, there is a place called CERN in Switzerland, between Switzerland and France, are destroying particles together, and which is a huge violation of of the universe of of the universe concerning God's spectrum is a is a huge rebellious act that you don't know concerning God told me um about what they're doing um see cuz you know the thing is when they know that when you smash these atoms and these protons and these particles what happens is you collect so much antimatter that I was talking about the other day concerning the electron around the uh, atom. The uh, electrons uh, break off and you collect, and as they machines are, they, they collect so much huge amount, I mean, huge amount of antimatter uh, concerning CERN when they continually do it. A huge amount that a lot of people are warned in YouTube about this idea about how many how much antimatter they're collecting is ridiculous. It's ridiculous beyond measure. But the thing is, they're smash. They're committing. Uh, uh, even the physicist uh, Stephen, uh, I forgot his last name, the one in the wheelchair, you know, uh, said that this is totally dangerous. Is what going on is what they're doing. He's the most respected. Uh, scientists, physicists in the world saying that this is dangerous, and it is. It is. Um, because now, watch this. Now, I want to uh, talk about the uh, the electric. Now, and how the kingdom of darkness is using its energy to get back territories. Well, well, not get back territories. To more likely take territories away from us because. We don't understand the dominion that God has given us concerning God created Adam and Eve. Let us make man in our own image and our likeness. We don't understand the dominion power that God has pretty much supposed to trust in us with this concerning this leadership role that men or mankind is supposed to play a role in this world, in this earth. But Satan knows about it. That's why Satan is on this agenda to more likely, like I was talking about in the other video, of the protons and the uh, neutrons are 
which is called the uh, nucleus, is trying to cut or divide the nucleus. That's why Satan is, of course, about divide and conquer. Dividing God's people and trying to conquer them in their division, which is the substance of hatred. You know, yeah, he's trying to use hatred to keep us divided that we don't understand and see our purpose concerning Genesis 1.26, made in the image and likeness of God. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to keep giving men a reason to come against each other. Or more likely what Paul is saying in Ephesians uh, 6 and tw- in six and, thir- and 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. He's trying to get us to wrestle against flesh and blood. So we don't find out the true enemy, of course, is the principalities and the powers and the rules of darkness in this world and spiritual wickedness in high places. Now, here's the thing. And now watch when you get these electrons. Electron is the negative source. Now, I wanted to do this teaching. Let me see how much time I got. Okay. I want to talk about. Now, those that know sacred geometry. I encourage people to learn about the first ideal of sacred geometry, at least the first idea of sacred geometry. And the first second, uh, the uh, rule of the first second, uh, the first second rule of geometry, uh, sacred geometry, the first rule is about understanding the point. You know what I'm saying? It's understanding the point. And the point is where's the point of the establishment of creation is facilitated well, produced from the point. But I hope you go check out Sacred Geometry. They're going to teach you about a point. And that point is pretty much that God taught me is about the one, the one. See, because that's why God says the Lord thy God is one Lord. That means one point, the one point of the idea of the existence of everything that exists in the universe, actually. You know what I'm saying? Comes derived from this one point. And that one point is God. Now, watch this. Now, guess what's established in that one point? That one point is established is the new, the, the uh, proton, the positive charge, and the n- neutron. The proton and the neutron, that which represents man and woman in a spiritual mindset, is supposed to be together. Now, the ideal of an atom, it works, as much as many neutrons, protons and neutrons come together in an atom is how many electrons, you know, circulate around whatever matter is, mass is, you know, created. And all that, and now watch this, what God told me that was just very powerful, that, you know, now here's the question, why is it electrons are circling around the protons and the neutrons concerning that the proton neutrons is at that point. Now watch this. This is cool. You know, this says God created man and woman in his own image. Now watch this. He God, the point of creation, put together the proton and the neutron. Follow me. And now the force of the electron uh, co- can coexist. Now, what you don't understand what that ideal means, it, the ideal means of the electron going around it. See, the electron is what's really, it's, it's in the captivity. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the proton, see, watch this. This, new, this electron can't get near the point of creation. It can't get near the point of creation that it wants to. Satan, you know, the, in, the, the enemies of darkness wants to get to the point of creation because they want this point destroyed. They want the proton and the neutrons to separate. So, and, and what, because what happened, like I told you in the video, when they separate, like split the atom, the electrons release out of the air. They, you, they release out of the air. Now watch this, as much as we are together as a people concerning of who we are created to be, Genesis 1, 26, made in the image likeness of God, we will always keep negativity or anti-matter, pretty much, or spiritual uh, darkness captive. The whole idea, we're supposed to keep uh, electrons e- captive. 
And see, electron is imprisoned by the protons and the neutrons staying together. Now, follow me, y'all. Follow me. Now, but when we're savored, when we're divided, now the electrons, you set the electron free. And you set the electron free to become an energy that will bring negativity to other atoms, other protons, other neutrons, to cause it to savor them to set the electrons free. And what happens, what we don't understand about this ideal power uh, pattern is a power pattern. We don't understand this, that, uh, that Satan understands, because he's doing it right now, the God of this world is blind the minds of men, that you don't understand concerning doing something that is anti concerning nature, you know, anti concerning nature is he's setting not only he's getting unfortunately people operating in a negative uh direction concerning sin, but he's setting the more electrons free to do more damage, more carnage concerning the universe. Or well basically let's shrink it down concerning this earth. And the thing is, what's happening right now is humanity is coming a victim and will make humanity becomes a victim of its own tragedy. That, you know, I learned, you know, when I uh, study Proverbs, I learned this pattern that, you know, uh, that the wicked will become, uh, 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 we, we will, will suffer the demise of their own wickedness. We will suffer the demise of our own wrongdoing. It's not so much somebody doing us wrong. No, it's uh, the system works that when we do wrong, we will we will suffer their own demise. As I hope you see that system going on right now, or what Paul says, you know, Galatians six and seven through nine. You know, what a person soweth, they shall reap. You sow uh, flesh, you reap corruption. Sow the spirit, reap you reap life. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, the thing is, uh, we don't understand that ideal aspect to the point that we watch sin develop itself. And we think that, uh, and unfortunately, say, not blind your minds, man, that every time there's sin and every time destruction is happening, we're releasing more e uh, electrons out. And when we release more electrons that the kingdom of darkness Want us want a lot of electrons? You get more territory in the in the high places, the spiritual wickedness high places, and the spiritual wicked high places. Like I said, gets this energy and use this cycle of energy to go back and influence humanity to do more wrong and more wrong and more wrong. And when you do more wrong, you become a moron. Okay, I hope we got that. Um, see, and that's what's going on right now. Now, why I'm telling you this? I'm trying to tell you this because it's a simple thing we must do to combat this. It's called obey the word of God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The, the, the obey the word of God. So you can study the word of God. Start loving your neighbor as yourself. Start having the joy of the Lord to be your strength. Uh, start having peace that passes understanding. Start seeking after God because this cycle is facilitating itself. Now I'm going to talk about the electric, electron. Now, notice they call it uh, elections. <laughs> elections, you know, you know, I, I ran into that. Elections, electrons. What, what, what electrons and elections has something to do together concerning voting? Well, here's the thing which you don't understand. That voting is a whole idea of we come in agreement to give a person the authority to take care of certain things that are in this country or in this uh, state or in this uh, city. We're giving them authority, power. Now, electric, it has something to do with power, see? Electric and power. And I saw that, I was like, oh my goodness. So what, what that has to do with uh, voting in electric has to do with electricity. Now, I got to do another video, y'all. I'll finish that video.
next video. To God be the glory of him forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.